New information tonight about the fallout from a tense school scare in Smithfield. We first told you about it yesterday on Eyewitness News Live at 5. A false alarm Tuesday prompted Smithfield High to go under temporary lockdown and armed officers to search the school. We wanted to know how school and law enforcement officials felt about their response and what lessons, if any, were learned. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in the newsroom now with the new details she uncovered. School administrators and police met today to discuss the lockdown. The police chief tells me his officers did exactly what they've been trained to do. And the school superintendent says he's proud of his students and staff for how they handled the situation. But both agree there's room for improvement. When Smithfield High School went into lockdown Tuesday afternoon, police were on scene within three to five minutes doing room by room searches. One of the officers came with a gun drawn and I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. The lockdown lasted for about 90 minutes. In that time, school officials discovered the unidentified person who triggered an alarm and lockdown was actually a student who left the building and was let back in through a locked side door by another student. Smithfield Superintendent Robert O'Brien was actually in the building at the time. We asked him to evaluate the school's response to the incident. I'm very pleased from start to finish, every single adult did what they were trained and told to do. And, it, and the protocols that we have in place, I feel confident, uh, is the best we can do to keep our kids safe in the school. But O'Brien says there is room for improvement when it comes to communication, especially with students, staff, and parents. I'm trying to, you know, get a balance of how I could notify parents quickly, but not to uh, where they would be rushing to that high school and making the situation worse. Smithfield's police chief also says there were some challenges with communication, telling Eyewitness News the school's radios don't communicate with police radios and that police didn't have blueprints of the high school. The chief says the radio issue is a work in progress, and he tells us he expects to get a set of blueprints from the school soon. And we've also learned during the lockdown, Smithfield police didn't get a single call for service. The police chief tells me if they had, they would have relied on mutual aid or Rhode Island State Police to cover that call. And non-emergency calls would have had to wait until an officer was available. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.